like to call the meeting to order. Mm -hmm. I also like to welcome our new town administrator. Yeah. Yeah. And you are going to have some fun tonight. <laughs> and guys, don't be so hard on. Huh? Okay. Just guys, not girls. Yeah. And well, she knows already because she sensed it. You exactly. <laughs> All right. Do we have any additions to the agenda? I just need to request from someone that knows how to use Microsoft Office Excuse how I what? can duplicate this file so that I can start taking notes for the meeting. I'm sorry, Carl. <laughs> I do. I do have one addition. I'm going to talk about the house. I just can't yeah. open. I'm going to put document. that in here. From the documents, but it will go open up on the computer because uh -huh. I only have access to it on the browser. Hello. 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 Uh, I okay. I, I don't understand what that means. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't yeah, use. There you go. Well, if you if I start to try to edit it, it says that I. Oh, maybe I can't in the building. How strange. Yeah. Well, <laughs> ask me for anything. At home, I don't think, I think I just, okay. think it's a different okay. yeah. So, addition to the agenda, I want to put something in about the house. Okay. Okay. Is that a, is that an executive session? No. Okay. No, we just got to, um, you know, yeah. move okay. it. Okay. The review of minutes, April 22nd. Yeah. yeah. Um, there are two individuals that attended the meeting that were left off. Our former uh, town administrator, Jenkins, is, is not listed. Oh, yeah. You do not have a copy in your notes. No, I don't. Well, right. That's okay. <laughs> you can look at it online. I also did not catch. I don't have my computer. Jen, Jen didn't. Jen didn't. Jen didn't. Jen didn't. So, what I wrote. So, you Finish your amendment, please. Oh, and um, Jennifer Devine is also not listed as town administrator in the in the house. Oh, in the attendant? Right. I don't know about anybody else, but in person. Look at that. Hitting the buttons are hard. I know they weren't doing anything. Okay. Whatever. I'm just going to read over your shoulder. The gentleman in, include a copy of the minutes. Okay. <laughs> well, I, have, I could bring a laptop. Well, I know. Then, could, actually. I, there's but, the name of I should. someone from. Yeah, Ruben. Yes, from, Ruben's last name. I wasn't sure what it was. And I yeah, I believe kind of that Adam Stanforth works for CBRPC. Yeah. And uh, so he's not the TAC representative. It's Ruben who's our TAC representative. Oh, okay. Oh, Ruben's the one. Actually, I think he missed probably. Uh, Ruben's the one that sent a letter that we sent the letter to on the town study. Um, I think so. I have it in my email. Okay. Didn't he already respond? Said that we, I don't know, I read the email today and it was from Ruben. On the demonstration study? Yes. Okay. Do you have that? Uh, I've got my email in front of me. Let's see if I can find it. Ruben Matt Okay. Thanks. What was his last name? Uh, McMartin. McMartin. Oh, thank okay. you. And that's the guy. It's R E U B E N, is it not? You've got R U B I N. Is it R E U B E N? R E U B E N. That's what I have here. Ruben Matt Martin. Okay. Ruben Matt Martin. Yeah. So, are you correcting it to say that Adam Sanforth is with CDRPC and that Ruben McMartin? Oh, she's got the... Do I have that right? Or is it Ruben who's with the CDRPC? The um, minutes from last yeah. time said that Adam, no, that Adam was the representative. Okay, okay. Then I got it mixed up. So, I mean, so you've got. Well, I just switched it. Oh, you yeah, didn't? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I can't remember what Ruben's position was, though. He's at the CVRPC. Okay. I forget what his position was. Oh, they both are. No. Um, Adam, one of these is our appointed representative to the TAP, TAP the Technical Advisory Committee for the so, CVRPC. So I have, and the other person is a staffer for them. 
So I just said, I don't stand for it. So I'm pulling your CDR procedure stuff as a preventative attended Oops. the meeting along with Ruben Warren. Just go. Uh, <laughs> Ruben McMartin from CVR. Should I say that? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. The senior transport planner. Thank you. We're really getting official here. Okay. Any other corrections? Yes. Okay. Let's start with the trivial. Uh, upper right hand corner of each page, page two of one, five of one, and so on. I think there are going to be five pages total. Wait, what about the pages? So in the upper right hand corner of each page, uh, it should say page one of five, page two of five. Oh. It says page one of one, page two of one. <laughs> Oh, really? He, I don't see that on... Well, you don't have it. Yes. <laughs> he, he wants to have it. No, it's, it's, it's in oh, here. He didn't have it. In this one. So it's, in, oh, yeah. it's in the PDF that's on the website. Oh, <laughs> that's a great not on this one. No, 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 no numbers at all. Okay, so you so I can work with you on that afterwards. Okay. But on the website, it's numbered? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Did okay. You, somebody else. Did. But numbered incorrectly. No, there's probably just something in the view settings there that isn't showing the headers. Um. So under on page two of one at the bottom. <laughs> two of one at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Consideration okay. of energy okay. committee. Okay. Well, con consideration of energy committee statements. Uh -huh. Um. So the motion was to accept the proposed charge for the energy committee, and that's absolutely correct. As far as I recall, the minutes then need to have the charge from the Energy Committee amended uh -huh. to them. Okay. So just as, as an appendix. Oh, so so you would say to accept the proposed charge for the Energy Committee, and then in parenthesis um, attached to these minutes. Okay, and then how would I? So th then um, that is in a PDF that's on the website, and you just you or yeah. somebody who's talented with PDF. Uh, just need to merge the two of them together. Is that okay. something you can help her with, Jennifer? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Hopefully, I can learn. Where are you going now? I was going to get the PDF. So freaking nervous. Okay. Okay. Put your buttons possibly. Then the final one that I have. <laughs> the buttons mean doesn't mean that I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay. What's that? And then the final one I have is under other business. Uh, the motion misstates the motion. I I actually emailed you. The motion. Uh, I don't know if you want to just go to your email and take during the meeting. I think or right after the meeting. Um, it's not to support the Vermont okay. State Ethics Commission bill. It's um, that we support a uniform statewide code of municipal ethics, including required training for municipal officers and so on and so forth. And that's important because uh, Ted Brady of BLCT got the wrong idea about what we did uh -huh. based on these draft minutes. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. What, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he thought, uh, well, there's a, a provision in the bill that he thinks is awfully serious and, and shouldn't be in there. And he thought oh. we were supporting this bill across the board. I, oh, I, if we didn't I, take I, a standing on. I we, thought that. Yeah, we only took that a, a stand on a narrow part of the bill. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, I wasn't aware of that. I think it's inappropriate that we take up a 53-page bill when we have less than two hours to review it. Yeah, that's that's why I didn't ask us yeah, to, right. to do that. Yep. Yep, that would have been well, we didn't have the bill anyway. I, I said yeah, bill. you yeah. said oh, bill. Yeah, but I, I didn't ask you to I right. didn't ask anybody yeah, yeah. to we take agree. a stand on the whole right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Then you fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. Make a motion to accept the minute. Well, are the you done correct? Well, I'm done. We can start yeah. a discussion. Huh? Oh. <laughs> huh? Sure. <laughs> Make as, as as with with uh, with the amendments as stated. Gotcha. We can still have we we have a second second yeah. second. Now we can still have discussion. Any further discussion? I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Ah, uh, public comment. We have public here. You public? Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything to comment on? 
No? Okay. I'm good. Okay, 640, we're right on time. Town Treasurer Report, monthly financial reporting package. Oh, I have this right here. Uh huh. Does everyone have one? No. Do you want me to pass, pass? around? Yes. And then the financial package. Is this, this is in the entire yeah. thing? Yep. So just one cover. copy of it? Uh, yep. Okay. Um, why don't I give that to you? Yeah, I, I, have it on, I don't have any way. I have it on my computer. Wow, that's the lowest delinquent tax amount I've ever had since I've been here. Oh. Did you see any red flags, Jennifer, when you looked this off? No. Who's got questions? Sorry for me. No. So let's see, it's coming close to the end of the year, actually. Fiscal year. May, June, two months. Two months left, yeah. Yeah. So municipal, municipal operations, 78%. That's in line. <laughs> Vehicle affairs is running hot. Nothing new there. Jen, under, under the special accounts, we still, I put this up last time too. I know, What's that? I, I'm, I know a broken record, but under the, on the first page, yep. under the special accounts, mm -hmm. now that's not included in anything. So we still have. We still have all that cash sitting there that's not earning interest, or is it covered under anything else? Do you know? I believe it's just the number. Okay, so you're looking at special accounts. Yeah, I mean, I, I continue to fund that, capital reserve fund. What are the exit mean? I, I mentioned to yeah, no, I mentioned that to yeah. Michelle. And if that's separate, we've got two and a half million dollars that's non-interest bearing. I believe that toward the end of the year, there's a fairly substantial amount we have to pay to the school. <laughs> I think that's what what came up, and I and I believe that. That's okay, I, I, I think you're right. Based on my past experience, you're right. Thank you, Tom. I, and that's I think what she brought up when I met when I asked that last time. Thank you. I withdraw my question. Is that two million? Is it? It's a lot. Yeah. Okay, oh. and that that's why it's sitting there in cash. It's a lot, but I think it's, but you have to write check. Somebody. Yeah. Though, what's that? Though, can't if we keep it in a money market? There's, I don't know, I'll bring that up with the labor. Never mind. We well, gotta find, find out. ways to do it. I mean, if you're really curious, you gotta find out when that payment's due. Right. Exactly. And, what, how much and then just you can buy it. And you can ask Michelle. She I'll, 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 yeah. I'll work on that. Yeah. Okay. No questions, Mr. Chair, for myself. All right. Nobody else has anything. Okay. Well, I hate to cut that conversation short, but I guess I'm not. Um, okay, the next item is, I bet uh, Queto is there. Yeah. And Sandals there. Is Paul, I mean, Paul Red. Yeah. So consideration of additional ash tree projects. And Resilient Roast Committee discussed requests to remove additional ash trees. We have a couple of choices on that. So, 
We're we're on the uh, ash project. Ash uh, item. Yeah. And that'll helping Paul get the video on. Yeah, it sounds like. Just say I'm here. I'm here. Hey, Paul. Okay. Hello. I just can't see you, Paul. <laughs> There's not much to see. <laughs> okay. So it looks like you've got some money and you've got a couple different areas in town where you want to address the trees. Uh, yes, uh, there should be uh, a significant chunk that was not used in the project that we've, we're just finishing. Yeah. And <clears throat> so seeing as we have uh, some time before flight season for the beetles gets going, uh, we would like to consider using some uh, those funds that were allocated before to do a couple of at least one maybe and we'll see otherwise uh, sections of road where there's an aggregation of ash trees because our bidder who was second uh, was very close to the bidder who was got the job and he uses similar equipment but it's different and he operates instead of with a full crew he operates by himself so he's <clears throat> but he may be able to do some things uh that would forward us into uh the future here where we're getting down to you know further toward the end of the project and the more we can get done, the sooner is, is what we're thinking about. So, uh, and I happen to have talked to this guy uh, recently, and uh, he's willing to come and, you know, demonstrate what he can do. <clears throat> and uh, uh, I, I think it would be worth our time to do that if he's willing to come in this month. Otherwise, it would be off into the fall. Uh, and I don't know what how those funds are at this point. I take it they're not going to take them back. So uh, we're... <clears throat> do, we, do we have to use them this year? On the grant? Are we talking? Yeah. We're the talking fund? money that... The we, we, finished, we finished the grant work. Yeah, uh, the seven thousand dollars for the one mile radius around Adamant, um, but the select board had um, basically appropriated the sixty thousand dollars for projects this year, and um, of course we got favorable bids. Plus mm -hmm. we got the seven thousand dollar grant. So what we were talking about is basically a fund balance of $20,600. And if we were able to do trees at the same rate um, that we got the bid, which was $124 a tree, we could basically do another 166 trees this year. So we were just talking, as Paul mentioned, um, there just an opportunity um, with the favorable bid to expand our work beyond the 370 trees we did this year so far. So we could add on another 160, 170 trees. Does that sure. make sense? Yeah, perfect okay. sense. I don't yeah, think you're going to lose the money, but if you want to do it now, I think it's fine. I don't remember how much of that that we appropriated as ARPA I don't funds, know. but I believe some of it is, and yeah. that we want to get out the door as soon as we can. Well, that that's what we were thinking. That uh, and yeah. I don't remember what the percentages are. Mm -hmm. Well, so, you have to use ARPA funds. Yeah. So, yeah. But if we have a contractor who's available, we have the money appropriated this fiscal Why year. Not? Why not? Sure. Sounds good. And you had two choices, as I remember when I read about it. One was on Guyatt Road. Guyatt and Fitch. Yeah, and what was the other? Uh, Templeton and Sibley. Yeah, so were you... I don't think it matters to us. 
Yeah, the um, at the what amount that's left in the budget and the per tree cost of 124, that that's 166 trees. Yeah. And the guyette and pitch together is 162. Yeah. So the numbers work out. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there are priority reasons to say Templeton or Sibley instead. Yeah, I think the only, I mean, we've been trying to do the roads with higher traffic amounts. Mm -hmm. So it might make more sense instead of doing Fitch to do um, Sibley. Right. Well, this, this gentleman. What's that? This gentleman offered uh, <clears throat> to come down and, you know, basically not we wouldn't have to go through a bidding process and stuff you know he would wants to show us what kind of work he can do uh and uh so i i was just thinking well you know we're learning all the time how to make this work and it's uh and in this situation where already this fun this amount of dollars was supposedly appropriated for this and because the other job happened so quick uh that we still got some time before we don't want to be harvesting these trees so uh just thought it might might make sense to make progress because we're if you look at i think you all have copies of the nice job that jeff did of putting these the different roads and how many trees or what sizes and everything are there and which ones have been done. And uh, so we were just looking to be able to utilize an opportunity, that's all, uh, to get us further along. That was a beautiful spreadsheet, by the yeah. way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very, very, very helpful. Very readable. Yeah. Thank Jeff. He did a nice job. Thank you. And you'll you'll note that uh, some things you may have questions on, well, like the how if you add up the trees and stuff like that that were on in inventory, uh, but didn't get marked because they maybe they were leaning away from the road uh, or or something like that, and we didn't weren't going to get into cutting those on town funds. Uh, we're just trying to do the best we can to reduce the hazard to the traveling public. So so what it, what it comes up to, and Jeff maybe can explain this better than I, but uh, it doesn't look by the numbers that we're 60% done, but essentially we are because we've worked on the roads that have the most trees on them and we've also you know there's been some that were taken down by the power company and that type of thing so those were in our original inventory uh, but may have gotten taken down in a different way or didn't need to be taken down uh you know for the for the town's people's public safety uh yeah i think i think it's good to sort of look at it like we're probably two-thirds of the way done at this point of course we're taking down some other hazard trees that are not ash trees we're also taking down trees that are smaller than six inches in some cases and those were trees that weren't part of our 2019 inventory. So I kind of looked at it like we've completed these roads and that, that's where I got the 60%. Um, I also think, you know, looking forward, um, I don't know if we want to do every single road in town that has ash trees. Some are probably low priority and, you know, it's like, how many more years do we want to be doing this work? Um, this is the fifth year. Um, you know, if we could wrap things up in a couple of years, that would be great. 
I I spoke with Guthrie about some of these roads that you'll see in your uh, on Jeff's <clears throat> tally here. You know, some of them only have a handful of trees on them, and they may not even be big trees. Uh, and that's the kind of thing that, if it works for you folks, uh, you know, Guthrie may be able to, if he doesn't have to be on a specific time frame because he's got a lot a lot of storm work and culverts and stuff to to do but uh he he could handle some of that stuff which would mean that uh we wouldn't be going out to bid on that and and uh yeah that that's the kind of work that's not very cost effective for the loggers to do seeing as we this year went to the mechanized approach instead of using arborists, um, you know, if, if you have low density of trees, then it's just not the kind of work that, um, uh, like berry forest products, uh, would want to do. So that's better work for the town road crew if we're going to be doing them. Or if there's specifics and stuff, we could do smaller projects with... <laughs> less funds and stuff mm -hmm. uh but mm -hmm. but we're as jeff says we're kind of winding down on some of the roads that have most of the trees on them. so it makes it makes more sense to just mm -hmm. do it as we can do it or as we have to do it uh in specific places uh so what was the math per tree on the next project? One one twenty four for the same yeah same as what we've done. One twenty four. Because mm -hmm. the very first trees we had removed were one hundred seven. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Yeah, it started going up every year except this year. Yeah. So. This year after came down. But that, yeah, it came down because you had a different method of harvesting. Even max yeah. number was lower than last year's average. Yeah. You got that yes. Up. Yes. Interesting. Okay, so I think we're good. Um, you you guys can probably make the decision of where to put yeah. the trees. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I have, a, I have a, just another question. Okay, yeah. Um, and I'm glad you're here, Guthrie. Uh, my question is just looking forward. Uh, these stumps are going to, to sprout. Is that something that we'll just take care of with the roadside mower? Most of them, the biggest ones are shouldn't really sprout much. That's more Paul's expertise, but from what we've been seeing, uh -huh. they, they're not very aggressive on the sprout. And the bigger trees, okay. the smaller they are, the more sprouts you get. Uh -huh. And our mower definitely can handle all that. Okay. And we've been doing as close to a flush cut on them as you can get. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I would I would make the recommendation that we do Gaia and Fitch. So I you're think calling that really nice. a mower, but some people call it a mangler. Oh. <laughs> Put it out there. Manglers for drying clothes. <laughs> the old spin cycle. Okay. Okay, so is everyone good with the plane? Yeah, we do. Okay. Sounds good. Great. Thanks for your work. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Go for it. Yeah. Welcome. I don't think we need a motion on that. They have a budget. Yeah, yeah. there's been approved. Yeah, yeah, we're good. FIR and one. Yeah. We're good. All right. Have a nice night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for tuning in. Maybe they want to stay with us. Okay, maybe you want to stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> I to the <laughs> okay, so we're gonna to move to the next item, uh, which is. Oh my gosh. Discussion on East Montpelier Fire Department contract proposed changes. And we have them. Yes, we have. We do. Yes, sir. Um, so I'd like to begin by saying that I am really impressed by this presentation from the Cala Select Board that uh, they put out the history, uh, the changes that have made been made in the interlocal agreement over time, and uh, their suggestions for changing again, and uh, I, I think they're fairly well-reasoned from what I can tell. Uh, what, I, what I found, though, in bylaws and contracts and things like that is uh, they're tricky, and I would, um, yeah. I would appreciate a chance to, um, to get together 
with the uh, Cali Select Board and the Fire Department. I have no strong preference whether it's a joint board meeting or whether we have a, a committee of representatives from each of the organizations going in there. Uh, but to uh, to talk about this and you know, spend a little bit more time on it than, than we might look at it from different angles. Uh, so uh, Cal has already voted to approve it. Um, I mean, I would be comfortable with us just saying this looks good without necessarily voting on it, uh, but sending somebody to uh, to talk to all three, all two of the other parties and come back and vote on it if, if everybody's happy with it. So the proposal for change is the last. That's right. It's mm -hmm. only the last half last, page. Yes, I got it. Like I said, it's essentially just clarifying the parts that needed to be clarified. It's it's changing them. It's it's oh, it definitely is. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's, it, but it's going back to basically what the original contract. It's was. going back to very similar. Yeah. Yeah. And improving on it. Yes. Because the original contract called for, um, if you wanted to amend the contract, you had to end the contract and then amend right. it. I was I was talking to Scott on the way over about this and saying that that was that's like the, the constitutional convention provision in the U.S. Very Constitution, mm -hmm. where you open up everything when you have a constitutional convention. So, so that was the problem with the cost allocation portion is that for taxation purposes, we need to have uh, concrete figures for our town report or whoever we're doing our budget. Mm -hmm. we, need to, we can't be changing that willy-nilly. On the car, and they're and they're saying if you change any time, we just have two months notice. Is that how that reads? The wow. last paragraph, mm -hmm. they're fifteen. But I think that was the reason that we had it the way we had it mm. was it, it is important that we have concrete figures at some stage of our year. See, get another head in the game and more institutional memory well, and things like that pop up. But yeah. that's why that yeah. was that way. That that sounds vaguely familiar. No, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna ask just to make sure that I'm was Bruce's. Yeah. Yeah. Pardon? Just to make, I'm gonna ask this only just to make sure I'm understanding it. It also says that if someone wishes to change the cost allocation portion, they would have to suggest it two months prior. But then, no, there's a two month notice. Two much two months notice. Doesn't then, matter where in the year. But then it said it would have to have a positive vote of all three parties. I know, but, but the way we had it before, and I could reread it, is that it had to be a certain time of year because we need to have concrete figures going into our budget season. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we're making a budget, we can't be thinking, oh, there's going to be too much, too much notice. Okay, that's January 1st. Oh, wait a minute. We have we have to put a time report. We have to have a budget in it, blah, blah, blah. So that's why it was a certain time of year that we could change that. Right. It wasn't just two months notice, whatever. That was a reason why. So I, I guess I would, I'm not in that much favor of that amendment, number 15. And not that, you know, the cost allocation thing can be touchy too. It's like, well, we only had this many calls in Cal's compared to this many calls in East Montpelier. Is it based on population though, no, or is it based on calls? You know, we we had that discussion back and forth a lot, and then we changed it. It was it was twenty five percent on the maintenance or something of the trucks, and it was a third on this. And then we tried to standardize it all, so it was one third, two thirds. And you know that can be tricky. Um, it depends on which data you're going to use. Mm -hmm. So, how many times a year are we tying ourselves to changing? Right. I think that there does need to be a, like you said, a timeline yeah. on the cost allocation part of it. Right. But shouldn't you stick to that cost allocation that you decided to, or at least in you? 
you know, and it should be a certain time of year when you right. decide to do it. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There should be a certain time. Right. I okay. agree with you. Yeah. A certain time of year you're going to do it for budgetary purposes. And then, and then, okay, we decide that for that year. And then if we want to do it the next year, okay, we can do that. Right. Right. So I, I don't really like that clause 15 and how it Yeah. And I think they're amenable to some changes to yeah. this is just right. ants first. Yeah. Crack at it. Yeah. So, so I guess the question before us now is how we should proceed mm -hmm. to the next step. Right. Um so once do we have a joint meeting and just right. hatch it out between the two of us, or do we have a joint meeting all three entities and just hatch it out? I, I don't really care. I mean, it's fine on me if we want to have a meeting at all. I, I'm not really comfortable with just doing a committee or just one or two of us because we can, you know, we all have good minds. Okay. So, you know what I mean? So, we can all have a voice in the conversation. It's a good way to build institutional memory, too. It is. All of us are there. It is. Yeah. I mean, Bruce and I did a bunch. Yeah. I remember when we were hammering out agreements, we would build Dallas. Bruce and I would go together, mm -hmm. and that, that worked okay, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, Bruce had a certain set of skills that worked out pretty well for us. Right. He was a lawyer, and so, but all of, none of us are lawyers, mm -hmm. but we all have minds that we can put in a conversation yeah. and come up with a, something, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that we do it together. Yeah, and and by together, I, I hope you mean with the fire department as well? Well, yeah, that's yeah. fine yeah. with okay. me. I mean, okay. absolutely okay. fine, because... Like I said, we'll all be able to weigh in on it. Yeah. And we all have certain skills. And yeah. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have a lawyer representing us. Mm -hmm. We have ourselves. Yeah. So to me, that would be a better way of doing it. Mm -hmm. It's a, a big joint meeting. We can talk about it. I don't care if we talk about it for two hours. It's fine. You know, yeah. maybe we'll come up with something at the end of it. Mm -hmm. What do you say, everybody else think? I, I, I think that's an, that's an improvement over the previous time that we amended this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think yeah. I think it's important that all three of us are yeah. in the same room. Yeah. Talk I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes perfect sense. And it isn't that um we don't trust each other. It's just that we'll come up with a different product if we all have our minds yeah. in, in, in the well, game. People yeah. may think of different things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everyone thinks of yeah. different things. Like yeah. people have historical knowledge, blah, blah, blah. You know. And then when we get it all through, we probably ought to run it by a lawyer or something. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's what we've done in the past. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just set up a meet. Whatever mm -hmm. is good for Callus and the fire department. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Separate from our regular board meetings? Well, it might take a while. I don't know what we have on the docket. Yeah. Our, this one's probably not for a while, right? Our next it, meeting is the 20th. Yeah. Is this, is this something we could do at our quarterly meeting? I mean, it's not urgent. When is our quarter next quarterly meeting? Well, it used to be in time. July, but uh, I believe that's the, the next one is in August. Yeah. Okay. That seems to be putting off too long. I yeah. I wouldn't put it off that long. No, I don't want to put it off. Okay. I want to do it when it's fresh in everybody's mind. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, I'd rather not do it in May, but I know I I just want off myself. <laughs> I can do it other months easier. In May is such a busy month. Yeah. Uh, June would be fine. June, but we have first meeting, but. Yeah. <laughs> um I guess we could throw it out there, right? I mean, you want you want to go to a regular meeting. We could put, throw it out there and see. For August. No. I mean, oh a regular select board meeting. A regular select board meeting the first Monday in June. So. Okay. Do we have a lot, Jennifer, for first June? First uh meeting in June. What day is that? Fifth or something? Um, fourth? June third. Third. Fourth, third. Third. <laughs> do, you, do you have an overview of how much is on the agenda for that? Uh, not for that one yet. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Just throwing it out there, but well, you want to talk about that board meeting? What do you think about? It would be nice to to not have an additional meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I agree. It'd be good, especially yeah. if we're not that busy. Can we start a little earlier if we are busy, like five thirty? Oh, okay. I'd like to start two hours later. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, yeah wait. You'll be asleep. Yeah. What? Like a meeting like tonight is not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Right. 
I'd rather not start earlier. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have a hard time getting here six thirty, yeah. but but mm -hmm. I will. Uh, okay, let's buy it for June third. Put it out to Cal's. Put it out to fire department. Yeah. See what we can call. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yep. All right. So we shall our town administrator fill out an email to the various entities. Mm -hmm. Sure. That good. Thank okay. you. Perfect. Uh, the net we're right on time. Yeah. Consideration of liquor license, Vontine Metals LLC liquor. Uh, well, they want a class one liquor license. Yeah, which which class one? Yeah, first class. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Top shelf. Yeah. <laughs> That's if we can drink on the premises. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I I always forget. It is yes. Okay. What you going to be serving? Uh, mostly just um, beer and wine. Yeah. No iron oh. liquor. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll have a, a whole little um, bar scene. I know, oh, right? Really? Well, that's what Fox is. Fox is there right yeah. now. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, go bar hopping. Mm -hmm. It's not really good. Holy cow. It's going to be a lot smaller. Yeah. Within um, walking distance of the parking lot, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's important. Yes. Yeah. Which is a bus stop. See? Okay. okay. Oh, yes. Make a motion to approve the. Uh, no, no. Authorize. To authorize. Now mm -hmm. put it To you approve. How we doing, Rosie? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Ruby. I vote. I vote. Make a motion to approve. Have, Rose, have Rosie handle the situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, take her. Could you? Correct and massage his motion. Oh, please. I uh, okay. <laughs> so uh, I believe it's um, to authorize town clerk Lacare, or I, I would prefer just to say the town clerk, um, to approve the applications on behalf of the town for further processing. Or it's the application in this case. Sounds good. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Yeah. Any but, further discussion? And let's just make it specific um, in the motion to yes. approve the application uh -huh. for a first class liquor license by what's the name of uh, the Thank you. No further discussion by Mark. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. 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 It's good to have to do that. All right. right. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, thank no you. Problem. Okay. So, what's the Mark, Mark, M-A-R-C. A. 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 Huh? A. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> we. <laughs> okay. Um, the next item, FEMA, Sanders Circle. Design decision and Roland Foreman Perry is here to give his expert opinion on these. It's actually pretty darn interesting. Um, you have the floor. Well, uh, I personally feel our best option is going to be the open bottom plate arch, uh, which isn't the worst price wise, that uh, comes in at 289. Yep. But it gives you the luxury of not having abrasive material against anything that's steel. So it is a, like laid in river bottom in the bottom. It has concrete footings and then the steel arch hooks to that above the water line, per se. And then it's uh, an arch off of the big concrete blocks. Um, if we, it should be a wash in either direction as far as cost for the forming the footings. So if we did hit ledge, they would make forms directly onto the ledge and drill into it and hook to that. Mm -hmm. um, if there was no ledge to be disturbing of the path, they have prefabricated yeah. forms that already have all the steel in them and everything, right. which will be really time effective. Yeah, um, it's, quick, quick. it's just whether or not you hit ledge. I don't believe they will, but we haven't done any borings. Yeah. So it doesn't really make sense to do the borings. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have to, because yeah. either way, it's pretty much the same cost. Yes. Yeah. It's the same cost, even board in place is the same. Board in place or the forms and then pouring in place yeah. that have the steel already in them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a little more groundwork to the pre prefab forms. 
So the thing about having the box culvert is you have a bottom and the bottom wears out. That's what Cuff was saying yeah. in time. And so to, you know, not have to worry about it wearing out, mm -hmm. just have river bottom in it. Right. It makes a lot of sense. And, and it's cheaper too. And in the long run of towns of responsibility should be like 7% in of that. Of, yeah, of the total project. Yeah. Well, and when would it, I mean, if, we're going to approve this, obviously, one of these designs tonight. Yeah. What's the timeline? So that will be, there's a few, few, the original timeline that DeWolf gave us, we're still on it. We might even be slightly ahead of what that was. Um, I don't have that with me. I could find Are we going to be done by fall? Or? Yes. Oh. The plan is to have it open by late fall. Okay. Sure. Yeah. It's not going to go through another winter the way it is. Okay. That's why I was wondering. Yeah. Okay. So, so in the letter, yeah, the ahead. letter from Brian Lane Carnes, he um, recommends the concrete options. Is this a concrete option or aluminum option? I couldn't figure so it out. It, it is a, it's a plate steel option. So, but the plate steel is above the water line. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that you don't ever have the, the actual water from the beaver ponds, which is really acidic, touching it or any of the massive debris cup flowing through it all mm -hmm. the time or sand washing through it causing mm -hmm. um, causing it to wear in uh, which then the water that's acidic makes it rust even more yeah so okay. that's so I'm assuming i mean the culvert that was in there was less than 30 years old i'm assuming that it, uh -huh. and it was er, corroded through with or er, er, it had rust holes right through it in multiple spots so, uh -huh. wow. so we're you're looking at the open bottom plate arch right it's mostly concrete that's what that's what I was understanding. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got concrete down both sides, uh -huh. and then the steel arch is over the top of it. Yeah. And it's stream bed through the whole thing. So right. All your migratory fish and whatnot can still all right. your native animals uh -huh. that travel it. It's a through brook. Uh-huh. Okay. So so with no bottom on it, um, what's the possibility of the stream undermining the forward sides? So they put a type E rock inside of it, which is very angular. So it's like blasted rock. Uh, and that locks together fairly well. And then, and that's also for erosion. So it doesn't go anywhere. That's the, the point. It won't wash away. It shouldn't. Uh -huh. It shouldn't wash away. And they have a pretty good footing underneath them, underneath yeah. the uh -huh. wall. But, uh -huh. And like you said, if they have yeah. there, they'll drill into right. the ledge. That yeah. really makes it secure. Well, yeah. If they don't hit the ledge, the yeah. concrete is. I believe three feet wide at the bottom for three feet tall. Oh, wow. And then above that, it's two feet wide for another three feet. Okay. It's a pretty massive rugged. amount of concrete in the ground that you're about well, to Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's pretty good. I it mean, it's, like shouldn't it. be anything anyone involved in it should ever have to deal with again. Right. It's one and done. Really. Right. That's cool. Yeah. And there's, like I said, the beaver ponds above it are going to come and go, and yeah. we don't get to pick the go time. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting that the water is so acidic that comes out of the beaver. Yep. Damn, that is interesting. So I, like, I know that. that. The, I didn't the, the, any of the cool. swamps and beaver ponds like that, where it gets a chance to really sit and the uh -huh. grasses get to rot down and all. Yeah. So uh, the one of them that we did on the county road, uh, this I think it was one of the guys from the state actually took a sample of that and said that it was one of my keels. Um, yeah. So just north of Barnes Road, that was yeah. very acidic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, both of those culverts were poly covered, so they have like a very thin layer of plastic adhered right to them. Uh, Same thing for longevity reasons. Right, right. Oh. So, so a service life of over a hundred years—that's what it, you expect. I would say that we could get a solid eighty as a minimum before you have to do anything. Right. Mm -hmm. But more than us. Yeah, that sounds good. We're not gonna make it. No, that's <laughs> you know, they will look back on us and thank us. That's right. <laughs> they were a wise man. Yeah, well, you might be here for the next eight. Yeah. I don't think so, yeah. but thank you for the vote of confidence. Can we get it named after the East Montpelier Select Board class of 2024? Okay, now I got an idea. I got an idea. If we engrave our names on that, that thing will be there forever. <laughs> it's history. It's historical. Yeah. I'll leave that up to you guys. I'll just let you know when they pour on. I like, thump. hey, you know what? Yeah. You call me. I'm going up there to get my name on it. Scratch you with a stick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
So we need to form those levels. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. we need to vote, and 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 you know what you're voting on, Scott? Yeah. Okay. So we're, voting. <laughs> Very we're voting on this big, <laughs> big fucking thing that voting goes on. Careful, right? you're being recorded. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't see the recorder on it. Um, the, uh, so it's the open bottom plate arch. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the design of the open bottom plate arch culvert. Oh, you're approving the design. I like that. Oh, that's two hundred eighty nine dollars and thirty. For two hundred eighty nine thousand dollars. <laughs> right. So you're thirteen dollars. <laughs> yes. So, so I don't think we got a quote. That is an estimate. Okay. Yeah. Construction yeah, estimate. Yeah, you can still has to go out the bid. So I was not. No house. This is Scott. Okay. okay. Yeah. So are you Scott making the motion? No. Oh, you did. Okay. And I believe it is a motion to approve, approve the up. open bottom arch right. with concrete foundations for the Sanders Circle structure replacement. Sure. Okay. And do not put the amount. No. 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 There's going to be some rocks that are not going to flow down the river. Okay. That's the point. Sounds Scott good. Scott seconded it. I did. Yeah. yeah. Those are your well, most informed. Did we do vote? All of the favor, please, Scott. Uh, I, 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 oh, no further discussion. Sorry. I, I, I didn't want to hear this anymore. <laughs> he's, the, he's the anal guy yeah. about, about, about uh, Robert's rules, not me. The eyes have it. The eyes appear to have it. The eyes appear to have it. All right. Uh, so we're done with that. Now, actually, I got to ask you, Guthrie, do you have any information for us that we can't talk about in open session? About road proof? I didn't hear back on it. Okay. I'll just. Put it off, but you would to be in touch with us. Hopefully tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have good night. night. Have a good evening. Okay. okay. So the next item, approval letter for Sibley Farm Conservation Event. It's reviewed a letter. Um, I've read it. Sounds fine to me. But has anyone had a chance to look at it? Yeah. And... It's just a little bit of a weird process. It is to me for yeah. us to approve a letter that GLT is going to send. I mean, that I, I have a hard time understanding right. how that works. So what I was uh -huh. thinking is that we approve the uh, on-farm events the same way that they are described in the letter, and just um, make that approval known and VLT can choose to write what they want in the letter. Does that I make like sense? that idea? Okay. Yeah. okay. I have the same. Oh, Rosie has yeah. Yeah. yeah, Rosie, I got it. Yeah. I got to digest what you just said. Yes. Yeah. You. Got it. Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 Great. So in order to prevent something like this from occurring 20 or 30 years from now, I had the idea that um, I would record this letter that the VLT is going to be issuing in the land records and indexing it back to the covenant. I think the reason that the land trust is actually asking you to review the letter is because the town is a co-trustee along with them. Right. So... I guess, Carl, that's that's what my uh, response uh, to you is for why they want you to review the letter. Right. So what's wrong with that? I don't, I don't understand. There's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. No, no, but Carl had... So, so a motion might read, I mean, I'm well open to feedback on this, but it might read something like, um, to approve Sibley Farm to conduct on-farm events such as weddings, community dinners, and private parties, taking place in the historic barn and the events and the associated parking will be entirely contained within the existing 6.5 acre farmstead complex. And we authorize uh, the Vermont Land Trust to convey our approval to the owners of the Sibley Farm, so, something like that. Okay. Does that make sense, Rosie? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. 
That was fast. Do you want to you repeat the last you. two sentences or two clauses? Can you repeat everything you said in the last five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> you, I can go no. from the beginning just so you can double check. Sure. Okay. I've gone up to the historic barn. Motion to, and I'm just uh, reading from the first paragraph to be oh, okay. to approve. Okay, great. Um, to approve the owners of the Sibley Farm conducting, and then quote, uh, I, I don't put in quotation marks, but just quoting from it, on-farm events such as weddings, community dinners, and private parties taking place in the historic barn. Um, the events and associated parking will be entirely contained within the existing 6.5-acre farmstead complex. Uh, furthermore, we uh, authorize the Vermont Land Trust to... Um, convey our approval to the owners of the Sibley Farm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So are you going to put in the 20 events per year? Or... Um, I yeah. think that sets a bad precedent. it will say a number of events. OK. Because who knows you know, what the future holds. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean. Right. The, yeah, right. What if I wanted to do an event every week in my time? Right, right. That's what, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So we, we can convey they our, did 20 events. I don't know how they got how they get it to figure. It, I don't know. If VLT wants to put a limit on it, then they can fight that fight. Right. Yeah. The zoning, our zoning has a restriction on that on so many events. Okay. It does have a restriction. I Maybe that's what that's from. Morning, actually. Okay. Huh. Yeah. So it does. If you look up. Right, right, the, right. You looked about the, the zoning regulations. But in that case, I mean, the proper process is to let the vote zoning regulations. Oh, yeah. So I can do rule. Yeah. 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 So stay silent on the 20th. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so the motion is to the board to know doesn't discuss the number of events we're not specifying. We're choosing not to specify that. Yeah. 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 You want to... so, so the last sentence that is furthermore we authorize the land trust to convey our, our approval to the owners of the farm but that's sort of made the approval of the letters or the approval of what the approval of um well, okay. why don't you read the motion from the top okay. the motion is to approve the assembly farm to conduct on farm events such as weddings private parties etc not etc but weddings community dinners and private parties taking place in a historic barn these events and the associated parking will be entirely contained within an existing 6.5 acre farmstead complex. So that, that's the approval? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. just to approve having events. Yes. I see. Yep. Not a certain number of Correct. events. Got it. Mm -hmm. I'll second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just meditating on the whole thing. No. So we're not accepting the letter. We are putting our own stamp on. We yeah, we we yeah. are we are doing what VLT needs and Sibley Farm needs, I'm pretty sure. And but we aren't approving a letter. We aren't approving somebody else and some other organization sending a letter. So by Rosie. So they but they wanted yes. us. They want us to review it. Are they specifically looking for oh, our right. Well, that's they, what I'm wondering. Yeah, um, they in the second paragraph it says, yeah. "Please accept this letter as yeah. the written approval of the Vermont Land Trust on, on yeah. behalf of our right. easement co-holder, the town of East Montpelier." Right. So they'll need to rephrase that. All yeah. oh, right. So yeah. we can't. So we're not oh, actually going to approve the letter. They're, they're going to have no. to cross that off. They could say together uh, with our easement co-hold. Holder because we've already we're approving it separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or they can just add a sentence. Our easement co-holder, the town of East Montpelier, has also approved right. this. Yeah, whatever they want to do. Okay. I see. Yeah. I'm I'm uncomfortable having them write a letter on be on our behalf. I'm uncomfortable us Absolutely. approving their letter. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Should that they also So we need to send this back to them to be able to yeah, yeah. say that yeah. what we have done. Yeah. Which will be okay for them, I would think. Mm -hmm. And they right. just need to change that sentence or do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have to clarify that we have not tacitly approved of 20 events? No, or not? no, we just, we don't mention a number of events. Okay. 
Yeah, if they ask us what it's going to tell them, they give it down by a zoning regulation. Yeah, and I know that's in that. That to me makes more sense. Yeah, and I know that's in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You okay with that, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but you gotta take a little. Oh, we gotta make a, a vote. Uh, we, we, have a a we have a we have a. Oh, you're making I made a motion. Yeah. She seconded it. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The eyes appear to have. They do have. It. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we've got that done. Consideration of cemetery maintenance contract. Is John Boucher here? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I want to mention something. I did see it needed to be done. Mm. So I was a little bit puzzled by the contract that we got to review I on the web right now. Yeah. Um, it's got a bunch of things highlighted in yellow and it's got Gina's name on it and no date. So I'm I'm not sure what what it is that we're looking at here. Um so my understanding uh from the previous contract, it's moving from one year to three years. Um, because um yeah. We they serviced us for one year and did a great job. Okay. Um, so that's my understanding. Um and then there's clauses in here that we can terminate and inspect the work. Um, so other than the yellow and Gina's name, it looked good. Should I text John and see if we can well, get him on the meeting? Think for a little bit and maybe we just can... a couple of minutes. Yeah. yeah, I can text him. We can jump on it. Seven thirty-five. We're not that far. I know. I'm not. I'm just saying. Okay. But <laughs> well, we can do the warrants. You were just well, what, what are we waiting for? Maybe? The guy. John Wilshire. I understand, but it's 735. We are ready to talk about the cemetery contract period. Can you join us on the select board meeting question? Mark? So I know you wanted to talk about green burials also. You cornered me the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah that we're supposed to get a recommendation Back from the cemetery. Yeah, they were going to talk about it. Right. And then, and then we, we thought it was a good idea, but they were going to get back to us. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. And I thought he was coming in to talk about that from what he told oh, me. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that sounds good. No, I mean, good. That's, that's what he's. Rosie, oh, Rosie. Yeah. She's on the cemetery. Hi. I'm a member of the cemetery committee as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend the last meeting because it was held on the same day as my software and hardware upgrade. But, um, they were not able, they didn't have enough time to talk about the new rules for green burials, but my understanding is that the group discussed green burials in general and uh, agreed that it, it would be something that we would be able to provide. Okay. So we will be meeting again to get down to um, making specific rules about <clears throat> that. It will be okay. much coinciding with what other towns do. Oh yeah, that sounds great. When does that mean? I can't tell you because I wasn't at the last one, so I don't have the information for when the next one is. I want to say it's sometime in May, so coming up pretty soon. So there are some changes in the contract, which is, well, it's gray uh, right. outlined to me, but it's yellow, I guess. So we would need to talk about that before we approve these. The contract with John, I think... So we, we we either have to wait for him or move on to the next and yeah. go to the next meeting. John said that he could be here in 15 minutes. Um, I gave him the Zoom option and he says he's in the car. Okay. So we probably have enough with warrants and town administrator report. Yeah, I've got my other business thing. That's right. Town administrator report. Let's go and do the warrants. Um, this is my one. Where this, are the rest of them? This is it. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they go okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And let's see. So. So Jennifer, 
or actually maybe maybe you could help me with this. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm used to just getting warrants that look like this. I don't know what this with all the red marks on it is. I don't know. I can look at it. I'm not sure. Okay. It's um. It looks like it's oh, looks like it's maybe a draft. Yeah, it's got similar names on it. Carl. Yes. I think it's I think it's Heather's checklist that um she goes through before she runs the checks. Okay. It was probably inadvertently left in your your staff. Okay. okay. So in yeah. other words, Carl, you're not supposed to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and this issued check processing log, is this something we need to sign at all or anything? I've no. never never mind saying it's that either. Okay. Back to you. That's John's. Okay. You're doing the warrant there. <clears throat> um, I can talk about the other business. Yeah. Which is the house. Please do. So the uh, <clears throat> house down there that we own needs to be taken down. And in order to do that, um, we need to get a the state to do an asbestos review. Uh, and then we can put it out. We have to get a permit also from the state to that's take it down. Okay. Oh, that's going on. So I think, I guess if Jennifer has time, you need to call the state or somebody. That's something you can do? Yeah. So... In the long run, um, the the plan could be for that lot. There's several different options. We could, I mean, we really need to put up a simple building for our some of our town equipment. Uh, just a bait. We have the Kubota, the sidewalk clearing stuff there. Guthrie's got some other thoughts and stuff that we could store there. Um, you know, get it off the site up there, especially for the winter. So we need to think about that after we get this place all cleaned up and what he said is he'd like to have cold water there to rinse stuff off and that's about it and there is uh because the springs is there so and then the other thing that we thought of years ago for that lot is um habitat humanity would be interested in building some affordable house there so those are two uses for that lot or it's you two do lots both, really you can do both we might be able to. So I just want to put it out there that those are the thoughts that we've been thinking about doing it. But the initial, the first thing we got to do is get the house. Well, like and a simple metal building up or something. Or wooden or whatever. To store, to store the equipment. Yes, to store that. We don't have to have, you know. Elaborate. Oh, nothing elaborate. I mean, we're already getting to elaborate on the town. Obviously. Oh, my gosh. So we'd like to keep it simple. So well, it needs to be cold storage. Condition it'll be cold storage. Cold storage, okay. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But we we really have to have a place to keep the sidewalk equipment in that we have yeah. it down there right now. Yeah. And it makes kind of sense to make it big enough to hold some other equipment that we don't need during the summer or winter or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh and we get it off the site up there. Mm -hmm. So that's um, it. Would so that, would that have to be in conjunction with the town garage, or we could fund that, we could fund that internally. I'd like to think we could, especially if we keep it simple. I mean, okay. this the process that we're going through with the town garage, I know it's necessary, but it, oof, it gets really expensive and convoluted no, or this and that. Yeah. Could we, could we, I mean, I talked to Guthrie about it and we're thinking something really simple. So that that's all I can say. Is that location better than other places for storing the equipment? Or It's a good location that we it's own. Right, it's, right here. it's right here. We own right. it. We need to have equipment in the village. We have no place to put it in the doors. Where is it now? It's in the, we've got a little temporary shelter down. Yeah. So that's where it is, right? It's it's okay right now, uh -huh. but it won't be okay once we get everything cleaned yeah. up down there. Yeah. 
So that that's our once thought. we tear down the building. That yeah, I mean we could we could probably do something temporary for the winter. Uh -huh. Like we have a temporary little tent thing over it and with some concrete blocks. Right. We can move that around. We can put that there. But eventually it'd be good, if, you know, to to do something more permanent. Yeah. You know that would work and it doesn't cost a lot. Yeah. So that's where that's in. Okay. So anyway, <clears throat> so the first step is to get the state permit, which requires I know it requires an asbestos evaluation. Yeah. And then I asked Guthrie to me, he's got some stuff down there that uh that needs to get moved. So I have already asked him about it. But that takes care of that. Do you that, have any questions that, on that, Jennifer? No. Okay. Is that Maybe. something you think the fire department would be interested in burning down if it uh, I can't have, I don't think uh, you can do that anymore. You think the problem is the uh, communication lines that are right there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we did do the old boarding house a number of years ago. Where was that? Um, down uh, just before you get to the home center. Oh, yeah. Uh, we burnt that. That was a much bigger building. Yeah. But even though we put up shields and mm -hmm. stuff, we still ended up with like a, I mean, back then it was like a $5,000 bill ah. because still burnt some communication cables. <laughs> had to be yeah. repaired. Yeah. Okay. Never oh, that's five thousand dollars probably cheap compared to what we're going to spend. Take that thing down. I, I was just going to say. I mean, it's, it's something we like that. Burn some phone lines. <laughs> it's something we can take a look at because I'm not sure what the distance is. Yeah, there it may not be as close. The other, the, the lines literally were right on the edge of the building. Oh, so yeah. Well, that's you know that's not a bad thought. You guys want to look at it? That works for me. Yeah, we, we can, can move some stuff we'll, around there. We'll take a look at it and use it for training. Yeah, do that. That'd be great. So I'll bring it up. Even if it's not something you want to burn exactly. down, would it be useful to Sorry. use it between so, now and the time we burn it down? Absolutely. For Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So like Town owned property uh, was, uh, who owned that house? It was um, Hudson, the postmaster. Thank you. Hudson, the old Hudson house. Yeah. So, um, yes. just saying, yeah. Tom, uh, asking whether it might be useful for them to use it for training, even if they just don't decide yeah. to burn it down, just between now and the yeah. time it's taken down. And sure. Yes. Great. So, so what, what, line we can what would, we set what would be the process for, for doing that? I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, there's some town liability involved, probably, so we could probably take a look at it critically before we say yes. But, I don't know how that works. Do, do you want to have the fire department make a proposal to us? Does that make sense? Typically, uh, anytime we burn down a building, it's covered under our umbrella. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. But in, terms, in terms of training between now yep. and then? Yeah, that's all covered anytime okay. we're out training. Okay. But this, we, have, we have like a $5 million umbrella. Policy. Does it make sense for the fire department to just write us a letter proposing yep. something and saying it would be covered under the fire department's yep. umbrella I think policy? they should look at it first. Yeah. We got to look at it first yeah. and then we'll go from there. Yeah. And then, okay. you know, if there's a possibility they can use it to burn it, yep. that'd be great. Yep. Because I know it's expensive for us to get that thing down. Yep. I can't remember. Is I mean, that we, that, we, is we that plus shingle roofs on or is that I, that? I don't remember. But, no. Um, because I I know that if it's got shingle roof and everything's got to be um, oh it does uh, oh yeah uh, yeah it's uh, that's going it's, on. it's quite it's quite a process to yeah no kidding to get it, but, <laughs> you know, it's more than just the asbestos but yeah sir so you know, I'll bring it up to the chief and have him take a look at it sure so I know we have to get the asbestos taken out if there's asbestos there but they do the testing so right. I don't know they have to test it right for the asbestos yeah. So, if there's okay. asbestos, it won't burn. <laughs> really? That's hot. Carl. I remember buying asbestos when I was a kid and putting it underneath the stove. Wow. I mean, uh -huh. and, yeah, back then. Uh -huh. I probably die of cancer, but whatever. Yeah, we didn't know anything. Yeah, you could yeah. buy it in sheets yeah. and roll it up. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So, John? Yep. Hey, you're yeah. Ready? Yeah, sure. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks for supporting us. Thanks. Buddy. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, okay. I appreciate this. We may yeah, have to yeah. kill some time, even though that's not a site board member. Yeah, it won't take a lot of your time. So I just want to report uh, we had our, our first meeting for the cemetery uh, committee. Maybe it's committee. Yeah. committee. Yeah. And, um, and 
Uh, all, all in fine there. Uh, one thing I want to bring to the select board's attention is James, uh, who is our contractor, wishes to sign a three-year contract rather than a one single year contract. Yeah, the board all reviewed it, um, or the, the committee reviewed it, and all, all agreed so to, to do that. And so we're bringing that to you folks to ratify it. And it was like 17 year old kid? Like 19, 19, now, right? 19 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he did a wonderful job last year. He had a bit. Um, Makes sense. That's sort of why more that's more or less the purpose of, of me coming in. Uh, and then the second uh, issue was that uh, we had talked to her. Back in I think February we talked about exploring green burials. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. uh, so what we we talked it when the committee is all in favor of it. Uh, so we developed a subcommittee to flesh out the rules and the costs and all that. And yeah, we'll meet a little later and get yeah. that going. And, yeah, uh, come back to you once that's in place. Okay. Yeah. So so I see you've got some things marked in the contract. So what was I mean? I I have a mark. Oh, somebody did. So you see yeah. that, Carl? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So C D E look at it to make sure yep. that you guys will find out that uh, no bears will be scheduled on Sundays. That's L1. Yeah. That's something you guys did or the contractor will do it. Oh okay. he's uh but well, we already have that in it. Yep. But but it's highlighted. In the I, again, I'm not. I don't know why it's okay. <laughs> so no change there. No change. was right. That should be the same. As so are, are you recommending approving the same contract that we approved last year, with the exception that it'd be for three years? For three years, years. Yeah. Okay. And, and and so I've, I've got a maintenance um, question. Yeah. And maybe you've already addressed it, but you know, on Dotty Cemetery, the chains are broken. It's all the place. It's plastic chains. Plastic chains. Oh, yeah, okay. it's broken. It's a chain sitting on the ground. Okay. It doesn't look very good. Okay. So what's what, what's the plan for that? So this is first I'm hearing of it. So it's a matter of just again just prepare them or yeah, just talk to James and we can replace. I'm sure it's not a yeah. good deal. I'd rather have something more permanent but... than plastic chain. Yeah. It looks bad. I mean it's on the ground, all the places. You drive by it like man, it looks like crap. <laughs> but I know metal chain's expensive. I must have been done it was cheap back in whenever they did it. Yeah, long before my time. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I can I can bring certain bring it in. Well, it should be fixed in. You got it. Yeah. It's bad. I, okay. I drive by it all the time. It's like, geez, I hope they fix that soon. Yeah. Okay. So as far as the contact goes, it looks fine with me. It's the same as last year. And there's no change. And then the other I don't know what the highlighted places yeah. are. And there are no increases for those three years too. Yeah, like that. that's that's that would right. Yeah, I wish absolutely. I could do that on my box on my phone. Right. right. <laughs> I thought it was a, I thought it was no brainer, but yeah, we got it right No, it looks good to me. So are we supposed to sign this or are we just approve it? Well, what I would do, I mean, I, I'm not sure. I think um, Dina did it last year. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. So we got to change that. So I move to authorize the town administrator to sign a three-year um, version of the contract for cemetery services with contractor James Magnan. Is that how you pronounce it? Magnan. 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 Yeah. Magnan. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. James yeah. M. JM. JM. Yeah. Yeah. Services. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 If the eyes that have it, they appear to have it. Big rest. All right. Sorry for being late. That's, yeah, that's no okay. Problem. Yeah. No problem Thanks. at all. Right. Thanks for coming in. Right. Thank yeah. you for coming yeah. in. Take care. Yeah. And good. And when's the meeting for the uh, they discuss the green burials? So the burials schedule, yeah, but it, it would be in the near future. I just have to get through burial season. Just this, mm -hmm. and then we oh, okay, great. Get it going. Okay, Chat that'd be good. good. Great. Thank you. Okay, everyone, see the warrants. Uh, town administrative report. Yeah. What do you have, folks? Um, so for this building, we have a leak on the outside spigot, uh, outside near the bathroom. Um, Get that fixed. Originally, uh, no, not yet. So it's still leaking, but they put a hose on it, so the water is oh, yeah. leaking away from the building. Yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty easy. Rosie, Rosie has me. Rosie wants to see. Oh yeah, Rosie. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I overheard Heather tell me earlier today that um, the plumber's coming tomorrow morning to fix that. Okay. 
Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And you had the energy audit. Did they bring the ladder down and get up in? Uh, yeah, they did bring the ladder down. To get in the upstairs. In the basement. Yeah. Yeah, to get to the attic or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um. So that happened. Um. It was glued and... shut. What's that? The attic was glued shut so they couldn't get in. Now, wait a minute. I went up in there last year. That what, trap door. Why'd you glue it shut behind you? I didn't glue it. <laughs> Are they talking about another door that's up in there? Or are they talking about this door? They're talking about the door that the trap door that's in the basement stairwell. Yeah. I didn't glue it. I'm, Connor may have when he went up there. I don't know. All right. Okay. Whatever. Did they get, they got up in there though? Oh, they did not. Okay. Well, all right. Sound good. Yes. This is a pretty exciting report. Continue. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat. Hold on. The project. We have road group one. Um, so I signed a certificate form for that. Um, it was the 29K and just to certify that the work was done so we can get the money from FEMA. Oh, nice. Um, and then the other two projects per uh, Roadman Ferry is Horn of the Moon. Um, we could complete, um, we have two completed, two damage uh, projects of three, it consists of three sub projects of damages. So, um, so we have one that still needs to be fixed and should be done by the end of May. Then um, the road one is completed. And then we have one more uh, to be completed, Sparrow Farm Culvert, and that should be completed in May. So of the 10 FEMA projects, we have three out of the 10 to be completed and closed by May. That's great. great. That's great. Awesome. That's it for the meeting schedule. Uh, the meeting schedule. Um, is right there. I don't know if we have any changes that anybody wants to make, but that's that's what we have. How's it look? You're gonna be gone, right? Or something. Well, before I thought we were gonna have the one meeting in August. That was a mistake. All right, <laughs> I'll take that into account. It's not not necessarily. We'll just have to see. I get a long ways away. I expect I'll be gone for July first. So how am I gonna get to the meeting? But, but as long as two other people aren't going to be on, I'll well, be around. I have a polo tournament in August, beginning of August, but I think, no, I think I'm back that day. I think we're good for me, but not all about me. But you're going to be gone in August, right? Possibly. Possibly. Oh, possibly. You're traveling, playing the cello or something. What are you Not playing? quite, <laughs> but I'm possibly traveling. Okay. Hopefully traveling. Okay. But we'll just have we'll just have to see what happens. We won't have any minute taker, but we'll we'll manage. Well, man, we'll oh, okay. scribble some notes. Rosie, Rosie had her hand up. Yeah, Rosie. I just wanted to remind everyone that tomorrow is a school budget revote. So if you yeah. have not voted, we'll be at the polls from seven a.m. to seven p.m. The office is going to be basically closed um, because the town administrator is out, the clerk's office is out, and I believe the treasurer is also, she wasn't feeling well, so she won't be in tomorrow. Okay, so where's the voting happening? Is it here? School. At oh. the school. At the school. So it won't be much going on down here. No. No. Listers are available if you knock on the back door, basically. Okay. There's a sign on the front door. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. See you at the school. See you at the school. I go up and vote. All right. So nothing else, Jennifer? No. Okay. All right. Um I think we're good. Good. Yeah. You look. I'm tired. You can do it. And you look tired. I still have jet lag. And you look grumpy. No, I'm not grumpy. No, yeah. Okay, good. Um the motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.